just gonna explain this to you real quick, okay. not like you haven't done it before. Okay. Good. Set a date for a couple weeks out, March 23rd of this year at 9 o'clock a.m. Okay. All right, it's in 2500 Washington Avenue, courtroom A, criminal court. All right, it's just for prohibited signs of the city code. You sign right there, that's not admitting guilt. That's just saying you'll go to court on that day, at that time. Okay, there's a number you want to call if you have any questions after I'm done. All right, so is there any, you still at 18 Holloway? I Nathan? am. Okay, just making sure. Do you have any questions for me thus far? No. Okay. I, I mean, did you, I mean, just the question is like, was it obstructing traffic or were you called in today? I mean, I, mean, I, I think that, yeah, us. I think of the girls' Some, video. I think somebody somebody called yeah. us about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, think it's I wasn't video even in this area yeah. when a call came in. Okay. Okay. So if you could just sign that for me, I'll give okay. you a copy. And there's other signs, unless you want, here, take that. Unless you want to carry those, I might have to take them up. Oh, you got to do what you got to do. All right. I mean, I want to be here. I want to be able to pray for someone if they ask for prayer. And, I want to and, give and some sir, literature that's a, that's and stuff like that. I don't yeah. have a problem with your. Belief. I get that, and I'm not. I'm not. I don't want you to think I got a. Okay, problem with I don't. Belief. I don't. I, I thank you for being kind. Thank you for protecting the public. I mean, I, I have no issue with you. I mean, these these girls called. They're called escorts. And the they don't want to see. The thing I said when I first walked up is, I'm not going to argue about anything. Yeah. I just. I, I want to just. Do what the law says, and okay. we all have to go by. And I appreciate that. And all so, right. hopefully, just go to court and get cleared up. And uh, okay, uh, I showed you. I mean, the officer last week asked me to show him what I had. I went. I got brought what I had today. If that's enough for them, obviously, we need something better. Okay. Okay. Well, you were. You said something about the real estate signs. The real estate yeah. signs, actually, in the city, there's code that does permit them to be along Jefferson Avenue. From Saturday, sun, sundown, uh, sunrise Saturday to sundown. And Sunday. it permits them to be there. So I understand what you're saying. Let me yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate you guys got called. Now, the last guy who came was Officer Pierce. He just drove by and saw him, got mad. <laughs> well, my partner actually read all the code, oh, okay. uh, all the code sections. Uh -huh. Like he said, it does illustrate that you're allowed to have real estate signs on Jefferson Avenue, Ward Boulevard. Yeah. I guess that's something that they allowed to mm -hmm. the city. Yeah. Do you want to carry one? I mean, if you want to carry it. I'll put that one in my trunk. You can take those two. Because you're going to have to take these to court, and it's going to be a. <laughs> I'm not going to take it to court. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I got. That's why I was taking oh, the okay. pictures. Okay. But like I said, if you want to carry one, that's, no, that's, that's fine. fine. You just fine. can't have it in the ground. Okay. All right? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no. Yeah. There wasn't much doubt about it. I knew when I came that was going to happen. Yeah, I knew it. What's, what about the love, man? What about the love? Come on, man. What about the love for the baby? Come on, man. What about the love for the baby? What about the love for the baby, sir? Some people would have said it's out of love that God gives a child.
It's a sad thing when mothers, instead of loving their baby that God's given them, they instead mothers buy the death of their baby that God has given them. Sad indeed. Sad indeed that, that men wouldn't stand up and be the man that God created them to be. The men would hide behind an umbrella. The men would hide in a car while the baby's being murdered inside. Sad indeed. If you're here today, I don't want you to think you're buying a better life to this abortion. But I would like to acknowledge you're buying something today. I would you acknowledge as you stand and sit inside that at some point you're going to be asked how you're going to pay for this. At least acknowledge you're making a purchase today. and ask when you pay cash and charge, you're not charged for the choice you made. You're being charged for the death of your child. You may have chose what day to make your appointment. You may have chose what clothes to wear for your appointment, but you're gonna pay for the death of your child. It's pretty clear and it's absolutely true. The abortionist here does not do pro bono abortion. You're going to pay for the death of your child today. That's what abortion is. You choose what you're going to wear. You choose how you're going to spend your life. Abortion is something you buy. You buy the death of your own flesh and blood. Now, if you're ashamed of that, if there's any shame in that, I don't apologize that you might be ashamed for buying the death of your child. If you go down to Farm Fresh and buy groceries, if you go to the gas station and buy gas, there's no shame in buying what you have need of. But today you're buying the death of your own son or daughter. And the shame is not for me. The shame is because God gave you a conscience so that you know right from wrong. The shame is an issue from the conscience that God created you with. The Bible says that God made you in his image. That God made you in his likeness. That God not only made you upright, God not only made you a rational being, but God made you a moral being. God placed inside you the knowledge of right and wrong. And you know right from wrong. K-N-O-W, you know right from wrong. 